Thank you, my people. I am to talk to Sokoli. In today's math class, the topic is number basis. The second class we are having on that number basis. We have two questions that can be tested or exam questions. So let us see how we prepare ourselves for this kind of questions for tests and for exams. Question one: If one one zero two base two plus x base two plus 11001 one, one, base 2 is equal to 111101 one, 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 base 2. Then find the value of x. Alright. And then in question 2, we are given that 101 base x is equal to 5. That we should also find the value of x. Let us solve it together. I want you to watch till the end. It is not going to take your time. Thank you. From solution number one, I have one one zero one base two plus x base two plus one one zero zero one base two equal to one 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 zero one base two. See the first thing I we do since all of them are in base two, so life is beautiful here. Mass is life. What I will do is to come to the left hand side and add these two that are already in base 2 before I will now know what is the value of x also in base 2. Therefore, I will have x base 2 then plus 1101 base 2 plus again 11001 base 2. I will now add this and this to get what it will give me. And after adding it, I am going to have 1101 base 2, then plus 11, one, okay, 11001 one, zero, zero, base 2. Alright, let us add it. 1 plus 1 will give me 2, but in binary numbers, we don't have digits more than 1. We have only zeros and 2 and the 1s. They are the only digits we have in binary. Therefore, if I get 2, I am going to divide it by 2. And when I divide 2 by 2, I will get 1, 1, remainder 0. I will put down the remainder, which is 0. Again, 1 plus 0 will give me 1. 1 plus 0 will give me 1. 1 plus 1 will still give me 2. I divide it by 2 again. I will get 1, 1, remainder 0. I write the remainder and move the quotient. Then 1 plus 1 will still give me 2. I divide it by 2 because it is in base 2. Then I will get 1, 1, remainder 0. Then bring down 1. Therefore, we can now say that x base 2 plus the addition of these two now resulted to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 base 2 equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. So this is what we have now. Next step I will take is to move what I have here by the left, that is in base 2, and the known, to the right hand side. And that will look like this. x to base 2 will now be equal to 1, 1, 1, 1 by the right hand side, 0, 1, base 2, Minus, because this is plus, coming to the right hand side to turn to negative. So I have 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2. I will also subtract it. And when I subtract it, I will know the value of x. Let us do the subtraction. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. That is by the left hand side. Sorry, by the right hand side is what I'm doing now. Then minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So I will subtract it all in base 2. Subtracting that, 1 minus 0 will give me 1. I want you to look very well here and see how I can do 0 minus 1. Alright? I cannot do 0 minus 1. I will come to this one and borrow it. It will remain 0. But what I have borrowed is not 1. I have actually borrowed 2 because for every digit number I borrow, it is base 2. Alright? It is 2 because it is in base 2. Therefore, I will now write 2 here. 2 minus 1 will give me 1. Alright, here left is 0. This is where that is most important. Then I will go here and borrow 1 again. It will remain 0. Put 
put it here, it will be 2. That one I borrowed is 2 because it is in base 2. I will do again 2 minus 1 to give me 1. Left here is 0 minus 0, 0. Here is 1 minus 0, which is a 1. Here is 1 minus 1, which is 0. Beautiful. In conclusion, we can now say that when we subtract these two binary numbers, what I will now have is that 2 base, x base 2 will now be equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 base 2. We can now conclude that the value of x, since x base 2, is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 base 2. We can now say that the value of x is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is the value of x in the equation to base 2. Beautiful. In this maybe two minutes, let us solve question number 2. This one is not going to take our time. So I now have 1, 0, 1 base x given to me equal to 5. 5 is not in any base. Therefore, it is in the natural base, which is base 10. I will go straight to the left hand side to convert the 101 base x to base 10. And to do that, if you watch the other video, you see where also I showed us how to convert numbers to base 10. Therefore, we are now going to assign powers starting from 0, 1, 2 to the digits. And that means I shall be having here 1, the first digit multiplied by the base, which is x, raised to power 2, plus 0, the second digit multiplied by the base, raised to power 1, plus 1, the third digit multiplied by the base, raised to power 0. Everything is equal to 5. This is how we can convert to base 10. Alright. Therefore, I have 1 times x raised to power 2 to give me x raised to power 2. Then 0 times x raised to power 1 will give me 0. Then here we know that x raised to power 0 is actually equal to 1. Okay? That is x raised to power 0. Any number or letter raised to power 0 is 1. This will now give us x raised to power 2 plus 0. Then 1 times 1 is 1 equal to 5. Finally, I can now move this one to the right hand side to get x squared is equal to 5 minus 1. Therefore, x squared is equal to 4, meaning that the value of x is square root of 2. Beautiful. Therefore, we can conclude that 101 is actually in base 2 because the value of x is 2. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Remember to share my videos and subscribe if this is your first time of watching my video. As a way of supporting me, I am to talk to so cool. Thank you and God bless you.